babes, welcome back to my channel. I'm Amy Sun. If you're new here, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Today I have a fun, short and sweet Madewell try on haul for you. I have five items total. I know typically my hauls are a little bit longer than this, but don't you worry, these are some really amazing pieces that I'm super excited to style for the fall and winter. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that fall is almost over and we are heading straight into winter. I think that's just so absurd. Did we even have a fall this year? Like it just feels like it flew by and the weather isn't that cold. So it's a little bit deceiving. Regardless, I'm so excited to show you all of these pieces from Madewell because they've been bombarding us with amazing sales lately especially their Black Friday sale. Today is Cyber Monday for me, but unfortunately this video is gonna go up later this week. I hope they're still having some of their sales, so just keep your eyes peeled for that because Madewell seems to have a lot of sales pretty frequently. At the minimum, like a 20% insider sale because they do have those relatively frequently. I have two clothing pieces, two bags, and one pair of shoes to show you. Before we jump in, I want to thank Ana Luisa for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Speaking of sales, make sure to check out Ana Luisa for all of your holiday shopping because they have amazing sales during this time of the year. They kindly gifted me three pieces to showcase in today's video and I'm wearing all of them right now. Oh my gosh, before I get ahead of myself, if you're unfamiliar with Ana Luisa, they are a jewelry brand that I love to shop at to spice up my outfits. You guys probably already know from my videos, but I love my outfits to be more on the simple minimalistic side and then spice up my outfits with accessories and jewelry. Ana Luisa is great because you can shop from statement pieces to dainty and minimal pieces. There's gold jewelry, silver over jewelry. There's literally something for everyone. The price range is also really great so you can really experiment with your jewelry pieces which I love. Personally for me they're my go-to brand for anything trendy, something that I want to try out without dishing out so much money. Although their prices are good, their quality is amazing as well. All of my pieces that I have from Ana Luisa, they've never changed colors, rusted, or anything like that. This heart ring that I have on my finger right now has been something that I've been eyeing for a while. It is so, so adorable. I wish I had this for my Barbie costume last uh, Halloween because this would have been so so cute and they have a matching necklace as well on their website so that would have been the perfect combo but look how adorable that ring is oh my gosh I'll also make sure to give you guys closer ups but I have it on my pinky finger right now and it's just the most adorable thing ever. The size is a little tricky because I got it in a size 3 and on my pinky is it's a little too big so I'm probably going to end up having to gift this to someone in my life and I know that they're gonna love it. The second piece that I have is this bracelet right here that I'm wearing and like I said I'll give you guys closer ups because it's hard for my camera to focus on this but it has this paper clip chain and and two of the links have studded gems on them, which is super pretty and eye-catching. I love this one. I think something like this would be amazing as a gift because I feel that this is a style that everyone typically likes. Last but not least, I have these pair of earrings in my ears right now. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but it's on my main ear hole. I have never owned a pair of earrings like this where you have a different face on each side. So right now I have the blue print pattern facing you guys so you can see the blue but then when I switch them around you see the gold instead as you can see right here so the back is gold so I can kind of like customize it it's like getting two different looks from one pair of earrings which I am obsessed with it's so pretty I'll go ahead and link all the pieces that I've mentioned in today's video in the description below so you can check them out thanks again to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this portion of today's video now let's go ahead and jump back to the Madewell haul a few housekeeping items before we jump in I want to let you know that I will be linking literally everything that I mentioned in today's video in the description I'll also be including my body measurements for reference if that's helpful for you to choose your own size and I'll link my top and the bottoms that I'm wearing during the try on clips because I know sometimes you guys are curious about what I'm wearing with the items that I'm hauling. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and start with clothing pieces and then we'll end with accessories, including the shoes. The first top that I got from Madewell, I am literally obsessed with. I want this in multiple colors, but I had to get this bright Christmassy green. You guys already know. 
Christmas is my favorite, favorite holiday. And this just gets me in the Christmas vibes, you know? It is so pretty. So it's a cropped cardigan, obviously. It has this beautiful cable knit pattern all throughout. Has three buttons down the middle. Like I said, is a little bit cropped, but it's not super, super cropped where it shows your belly button. It comes right at my waist length for me. The sleeves are the perfect length on me as well. It's not too long, it's not too short. I'm obsessed with the style of this and the color summoned me. That was the selling point for me. I'm most likely gonna wear this to like a fun Christmas activity or on Christmas Eve because it just needs to be worn for Christmas, you know? The fit is also very nice. I got it in an extra small. I can go anywhere from an XX small to an extra small in Madewell, just depending on the clothing item. I'm really glad that I got an extra small instead of the XX small because I think the sleeves would have been way too tight even the extra small just keep this in mind it does cinch in at the wrists so it can feel a little snug i have a feeling that it might stretch out over time but i definitely would have been uncomfortable in an xx small i almost feel if i wanted an oversized more relaxed look i could go for a small instead of an extra small all that to say if you're in between sizes definitely size up in this for me the extra small works really well it's just that the wrists might feel a little snug. This is what the back looks like and the quality of the material feels really nice as well. To me it's not super scratchy but just keep in mind that it is 55% wool so if you are very very sensitive to the itchiness of certain fabrics just try it on before you buy it. That is the first piece that I have to show you. I am obsessed with it, as you can see. Oh my gosh, I am so glad that I found this during the sale because I've been eyeing something like this since two years ago. I really wanted a short trench coat jacket situation. I found exactly that at Madewell. Look how beautiful this jacket is. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. It is the perfect light camel color as well, which is such a classic trench coat type of color. It comes with extra buttons, which is always nice. It has pockets. It has these like typical trench coat style panels. It also has like a cut or like a fold down the middle as you can see to give you a little bit more of a flowy type of vibe. I love the style of this jacket and I actually kind of like that it's not super cropped. I wanna say this is like a very typical common length for a shorter jacket that's not cropped. It's a little bit longer than waist length. In terms of quality, the only thing that I'll point out is that it's not lined. So I know some people get really bothered by that because you are paying a lot of money. Uh, Madewell is not a cheap brand and for the price, it doesn't come with a liner. It's just kind of bare bones. I would definitely say this is more of like a spring and summer type of clothing item. It personally doesn't bother me because I bought it for styling purposes really and this is something like a light coat that I would put on over like a sweater or something so in terms of warmth I'm not super bummed out by it but if you are looking for a really warm jacket this is probably not the way to go in terms of size I got it in an extra small just because the XX small was sold out I would have preferred the XX small because Madewell's outerwear tend to run huge like huge. Even some of their XX small outerwear on me is gigantic. It swallows me whole, but I feel like I can definitely get away with the extra small for this particular jacket. It doesn't look super overwhelming on me. And I like the fact that I can really wear bulky sweaters underneath and still put this on top without feeling restricted. If they weren't out of the XX small, would I have been happier with that? Probably, but I'm not unhappy with the extra small and how it fits. It does look pretty oversized on me, but I feel like that also kind of plays in with the style. But yeah, this is a beautiful jacket and I cannot wait to style this. Such a keeper. Okay, let's go ahead and knock out the one pair of shoes that I have from Madewell. And they are these. Oh my gosh, I think these are called the Darcy boots. If you guys have seen my last Madewell haul, 
You guys would have seen me haul this boot in a different color. I have it in like this cognac reddish brown color and I fell in love with that one that I had to get it in another color. That's what happens to me a lot. If I like a style and if I like the quality and the material of something, I'll just buy them in multiple colors. I'm a neutrals gal through and through so I had to get this creamy white boot. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. I love that the heels and the sole are black. So it has a really interesting contrasting look to them. I love how the toes are pointed, but not super sharp because that's what I prefer on a boot anyway. I'm not a huge round toe boot type of gal anymore because I personally feel like it makes the outfit look more expensive and it makes me look a little bit taller, not gonna lie. So I really like this, so comfortable. I mean, Madewell's leather quality is amazing and they break in beautifully. I think I had to wear them like maybe twice to make them comfortable, but I've already worn these out and super comfy. It is just such a beautiful pair of shoes. I'm also not super worried about getting it dirty because I wore it out a couple of times and there's like literally nothing on it. And because this is leather, you can just simply wipe it off with some leather cleaner and it should come right off as long as you don't leave it and get it stained. Let me show you the other color that I have because these are what triggered my obsession for these boots. <laughs> So I'll also link these below as well in the description. Such a beautiful reddish brown. Love them. Now I have a brown and a creamy white. <laughs> Piggybacking off of Madewell's great leather quality, I picked up two of their handbags. I haven't purchased Madewell's handbags in such a long time. Actually, that's a lie. I bought one of their mini ones in my last haul and that also triggered my obsession for their bags all over again. I used to purchase so many of their bags for school when I was in college because they had such practical and functional bags for commuting back and forth from school for me and work bags and totes. They're just amazing so I needed to try them again <laughs> the first one I'll show you is this bag I've been eyeing this style for a little bit because I thought it was so cute for me this bag is very much of a medium-sized bag I really love it because the leather is more pebbled and textured instead of it being smooth Madoa's leather just lasts such a long time I've worn some of mine for years and years like I'm talking about more than four years and they still look good before I decided to part ways with them and that wasn't because of the quality it was just because I was getting bored of the style so I'm really glad to have this back in my life it has a really cute button thing here and has like an outer pocket so you can put like receipts and stuff. I wouldn't put any of your valuables in there or anything, but it has a zippered main opening and has a inner pocket for, I don't know, maybe like your wallet or keys or something. And then just one big main compartment, which is what I prefer. I don't like dividers in my bags necessarily, unless they're like huge totes. I also love the versatility that this gives. It has two straps. We love options, right? So I love the fact that I can hold this like this as a top handle or shoulder bag like this, but you also have the longer strap that is detachable. Both of these straps are detachable and you can wear it as a crossbody. The design of this is amazing. The only thing that I'll say that bothers me about this is that I don't like the method of the strap adjustment. I like the strap adjustment method of the other bag better, which I'll show you next, but this one, because I'm short, I have to shorten it a lot and this kind of dangles out, you know? So I wish that there was like another loop that would secure the end to the strap. And it does go past like the bag strap itself, as you can see, because I did make it pretty short. That's the only thing that bothers me, but I also feel like I can just take this off and really just use it as a shoulder bag. I think it looks better anyway because the size of this bag is a little bit bigger than a typical uh, crossbody bag that I use. So this is awesome. I'm so happy with it regardless. Last but not least, I have this other bag right here and you guys can tell how much I love this color because I have the shoes basically in this color, but I forgot what this one is called, but it's more of like a camera bag. A little bit slimmer, I would say, but a little bit like taller and wider. This only comes with one strap, but I like the strap method on this better because it's almost like an infinite loop. If you see what I'm saying, like there is no strand sticking out. 
I don't know, I really like this much better because there aren't any loose strap flinging around. However, that said, if you adjust this so that the loop is at the top of your shoulder, it can kind of hurt a little bit because it presses down on your shoulder. Especially if I have a crossbody, it really digs into my shoulder here. So I'm probably not going to carry a ton in this bag to make sure that this doesn't hurt me. I could also loosen this up a little bit and take it down one notch so that it's not directly hitting my shoulder. This this one also comes with the outer pocket. It just doesn't have like the fasten here and you can unzip it. Has one main compartment, no dividers. It just has a little inner pocket here. It's such good quality. I love the brassy kind of antique gold hardware as well which is the same as the black purse. This one definitely is a little bit on the smaller side, so I would only carry like my phone, wallet, my essentials, lip products, lotion, hand sanitizer. I feel like it would still fit a lot. And that is everything. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. I hope you're all getting excited for the festive season. Make sure to check out Ana Luisa and show them some love. Please like if you haven't already, subscribe if you wanna stick around, and I will talk to you guys in the comments. Bye.